wonderful things, motorbikes, aren't they? You know that. But I'll tell you what, at the moment, the biggest growth sector in the market is not scooters, it's big trailies. And they don't come much bigger than this one, BMW's monster R1150 GS. Just look at the size of it. Yes, sales of trailers are up 51% this year already, and Paul really rated the big Beamer when he tested the old 1100 version. In fact, he beamed all over his face whenever he rode it. They're big, they're mad, but I'll tell you what, they're not at all bad. The engine absolutely dominates this bike, and it's now up 45cc on that older one. But just look at this, it's enormous. And in fact, the other interesting thing is there's no frame on the big Beamer. In fact, the front suspension is mounted straight off the engine block on this telelever front end. You're probably all used to this telelever, but I happen to think it's really good. It's a car-like wishbone, wishbone suspension, eight inches of travel on the front forks, but all very clever. The rear suspension as well, that's hung off the gearbox at the back here. Shaft drive, of course, BMW, with their paralever suspension. The paralever actually stops the rear rising when you whack open the throttle, and it works too. It's very clever. It's got a six-speed gearbox now, but more on that later. Smaller riders will have to climb aboard, because like all big trailers, its seat height is way above mere mortals like the 1200 Bandit or Honda's VFR. But underway, you can forget all that, because this giant of a bike is an absolute hoot. Its big motor thrums away and you can just take great handfuls of throttle from anything above 2,000 revs and it just picks up and flies. It's not just the go department that's impressive either. The handling too is amazing. Its weight distribution is absolutely spot on. So unlike some trailers, it feels well connected with the tarmac. In fact, sitting so upright makes you feel totally in command. But is that any surprise? Just look at it, sitting up here, you do feel totally in command. I mean, I'm six foot two, and so this might look a small bike, but believe me, it isn't, you're up here. Now, the styling-wise, some people hate the thing, but like it or loathe it, you just can't ignore it. It's sort of biking's version as a four-wheel pickup truck, something like a JCB with this yellow colour. Up the front, you've got this Captain Beaky front end. It's not really the guard, it's a sort of a guard over the guard because the real mud guard goes tightly over the front wheel, which is a 19 incher by the way, for good steering. Up here on the dash, a change over the previous one, you've got this little screen here, which is in fact adjustable. It's not adjustable on the move, but you'd actually slacken off the screws there and just get it to suit you. It's quite effective for what it is, but you can deflect it back or have it more upright. The dashboard's quite clever. Rev counter and speedo, which are analog, but in here you've got a very, very fancy digital display. You get the oil or engine temperature in there, oil and engine temperature, fuel gauge, clock in there, and also a digital gear indicator, which is really useful because this one's got an extra gear, that extra one I told you about, six speeds, but the top one is called E, E for economy perhaps, but it is an overdrive gear, so that's all displayed there. Also displayed, all these flashing lights flashing at me there, ABS. That's because it's got switchable ABS. ABS is on normal. If you want to knock it off, you just press this little button here. But the ABS is very good. It really does work. So there is the captain's eye view. Now this one's also got the optional heated grips, two position, warm and very hot. And by golly, they really do work. And it's also got BMW's famous indicator switch gear, which can end up confusing you when you first get on it because there's a right button for right, left for left, which is fine. But then the cancelling is all on the right hand bar. And when you're just getting on the bike, you're used to doing the indicators on the left, it does confuse you at first. But you do get used to it at the end of the day. Beneath me, of course, I've got this absolutely enormous tank, 22 litres, but looking from the top here, it's massive. And it is comfortable too. It weighs 290 kilos, but it doesn't feel it on the move. And it's no surprise that adventurers use these for long distance work. And now with a six-speed gearbox, you've even got that overdrive. Whip it up to speed through the first five ratios and then drop it into six and watch the world go by. It'll take you up beyond 110 if you want to, but that's missing the point. So what is the point? Well, it is a big dual purpose bike. They are incredibly popular because you get the best of both worlds. I'm not gonna be taking this one off road in this sort of weather, far too muddy for me. But nevertheless, it's got that capability. It's also a big, beefy butch bike, so you feel as though you're on a bike that's a real motorbike. And there's something else about it. Sitting up the way you do, you're not gonna speed a lot. Well, perhaps just a little tad, but you're not gonna go way over the limit. So in that way, you're gonna save some points. So come to think of it, perhaps that's what it's all about. 
The point is, you're going to save points on your license. Now, I've said it's a big bike, which it is, but this seat, the pilot's part of it, is in fact adjustable. It's 840mm or 860mm. It's very tall, isn't it? I won't say it's easily adjustable, but readily adjustable. Take the old key out. First of all, you take off the rear pad here. I'll show you the, the tool kit under there in a minute. Turn this again. Yeah, that's the seat off. You see, under there, you've got these bars here and the bars at the back. And down here, there's two positions, one there, one there, same as at the front end, one there, one there. So all you have to do is just manoeuvre it into the upper slot and the lower slot. And then with a bit of luck, there we are, You've done it in one. What about that? Now that toolkit lives under here. Look at this, very, very neat, this. Yeah, take the top off. Just look at that, all laid out there, C-spanner, punch your repair kit, your box spanners, all the rest of it. All incredibly neat. The Big Beamer comes in Mandarin yellow, black or silver, and even a very nice two-tone blue and silver. And it will set you back 7,600 on their road. ABS will cost you an extra 650, hand guards will cost you an extra 30, and the heated grips 175. Oh, and by the way, that gearbox I told you about, you can actually get a close ratio 6B gearbox now at no extra cost. Add some panniers and a sense of adventure and the world's your oyster. What a parlour, eh?